Hello, welcome to Martinez Design. In this tutorial, we are going to explain how you can set your rendering dialog to give you a suitable output. So here we are creating, you click on dialog, rendering dialog. So in your, there is a default setting that usually come with it. This particular default setting we usually be at the draft, but you don't leave because if you print your drawing on draft, you have to bring it to higher printing mode. So in this kind of uh, rendering, your rendering is going to be slower, but in this trick, we are going to teach you how to render fast and quick so that you have a good output. So click on your, on your uh, setting. I usually use I. Some people use best and some have customized. So let us look at customize view. When you click on customize view, the dialog you click on a uh, print. This specific customized view is going to allow you to set your sunscreen and lighting and expose you to a lot of special things. So, but if you want a predefined, just click on I which I usually use and I set my printing to something like 300 dpi so this particular one will give me a little good output to render but if you want to render for a post-production or somebody maybe you want just to send the image at the higher definite range, higher definition range so you set it to something like 600 dpi you use 300 for a proper production now you set your exterior your setting to your exterior your setting artificial if you want to use it, uh, one of these if you want to use the line i mean the light the wall light on in this project use artificial settings uh, artificial light so exterior sun only will be just a natural lighting exterior sun and artificial will give you some of this bulb on and interior if you want to do interiors as uh, the render that is if you want to do it now maybe you want to render city room or by bathroom so the settings are there they give different lighting so the lighting section of this as well the same way we do the lighting when we are doing the uh, elevation so you can check that particular uh, tutorial so you see how we render our elevations graphically so this particular one will allow you to change your shadow Vision oriented and things like that. So please subscribe to this channel, click on subscription and subscribe to our channel. So another one that I used to work on is the uh, sky set. In the sky setting, setting has various uh, settings like very few cloud, a few cloud and cloudy. All this one, moment you are starting rendering and test the effort, then one of one after the other, you will get different kind of results which are going to be reflecting on your view. But I, I usually use sometimes use transparent so that I will have normal background before I expose my design to Photoshop, which we are still going to do in our next chapter. So, but here, there is something I do again, I used to use color. So my color, I use this kind of sky to get my color right. So lighting sky, it will make your, you can increase it something like white so that your your sky is going to be more brighter and will allow your beauty to come out openly and expose. So another one is adjust exposure. Adjust exposure will allow you to change the brighter, the sun setting and give you your, uh, your design. A very unique view so all these things you are just going to be testing and performing experiment on them and so you, before you now click after you have done with all this you set all this into place put everything in the right direction in the right region so what you just need to click on render the moment you click on render it will start rendering and everything so at the end of this rendering of this page i have already rendered some so you can see like this you get this kind of exposure in the rendering aspect so this is not the only one but if you want to render for the resolution to be more bigger 
you can do it and give so this one now you can export it outside and go and do what still work on it in photoshop and things like that so that is how to set your rendering dialog in revit you only work on the, the 3d view then from there you are able to bring out the dialog from this spot and set whatsoever you want to set so that is it for this uh, program so please subscribe to the channel and for